All right, out here today we're doing some uh, some INAP testing. Getting my uh, drone all set up on the computer, make sure everything's right. I just got this thing set up. Um, yeah, we're gonna test out some of the nav functionality. I wanna do waypoint missions today, that's the goal. I've never done it with a drone, so we're gonna try it. I've done it with a rover, a little safer because you don't have a flying object, so we're gonna see how the drone works. Um, yeah, I'll just plot out a, a map or something right out here in front of me and we'll see if it'll do a zigzag course. So let me plug away at a few things in iNav and uh, we'll get it up in the air. Alright, we've got uh, DJI MSP OSD up on iNav right now. It's looking just gorgeous. Even got color, like satellite green and red and I'm sure the battery turns red when it goes... <laughs> when it gets low it's so cool again really hard to focus but that's our mission we're flying pretty high we're gonna go up over the trees and then we're gonna kind of come back and around so we'll see how it goes all right it says mission loaded in the goggles we're gonna we're gonna go for it Alright, there it is. Sorry, it's kind of out of focus, but that's kind of what it's doing right now. It's heading over to the next waypoint mission. Pretty cool. I've never done this before. It went so slow. I, I do have it set for five miles an hour, so there is that. Alright, I'm gonna jump in the goggles and hopefully sit back and relax. Alright, reached the end of the mission. It's holding position. That's so cool. I've never done a full on waypoint mission like that before. Super neat. See if we can see it up there. There it is. Let's slowly zoom in. There she is. Did great. Alright, it wasn't that bad, but dang, we did miss the landing by probably 10 feet this time. I don't know how. There it is, guys. Success. And hopefully my Insta360 got some recording. I don't know. Sometimes that fucking thing stops recording. Can't see the light myself. Um, yes. Yes, it did. Cool. So, yeah, we got rear view camera as well. We can toggle between it during the flight. So. All right, let's set up another waypoint. We're going to go low this time. All right, mission is loaded. We're going to try it out.
is doing its thing. We got it 30 feet up. We're programming a basically a zigzag. Let's see if it can do it. Wish I had a little more zoom on this, but we'll zoom in on 4K. It's crazy how hard it bangs. Pretty tight course I set for it, so we'll we'll see how it does. Yeah, it's just funny to see how tightly it just zips around for the next one. It's not smooth at all. Good thing I got a gimbal. There it goes again. Oh, that's neat. I don't know what it did. It must have stopped there for a minute. Let's go watching the goggles. Alright guys, there we have it. Got uh, successful test flights and i uh pretty shocked actually. Usually I run into issues, but not today. Um, yeah, initial thoughts, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a little uh, it's a little rowdy on the corners. You can see it was hot rodding it in the corners, banking around super fast, but it does that in return home as well. Must just be stock settings. Maybe more oriented for smaller quads, I guess. This guy's big and lazy, so. It uh, seems like it freaks out when it goes into those corners, but yeah, we'll uh, analyze the footage. I wish the OSD would display into the goggles. This is the new uh, DJI uh, OSD MSP enable. It's got the hack on it from uh, FPV WTF, and uh, yeah, got it all loaded up last night. Got her working, and extremely happy. I think I don't know. I think. I'm just going to run DJI on everything. <laughs> I don't know. HD0 is nice and all, but you don't get the, the the good video like you do with DJI. So, No, this is a successful project. It's literally done everything I've wanted it to do. Uh, very happy with it. Yeah, just changed a X-Class frame. I actually modified the plates. Um, I can include the files if you're interested in doing that. You could just buy four arms hardware, and then you can uh, get these plates cut out. Um, yeah, and I got I got my gimbal mechanism on the front. I got a servo release mechanism on the bottom. Rear mounted camera, GPS mount. Yeah, it's been a fun, really fun project for me. So, it's it's gotten to the point where I wanted it to be. Really happy with it. So, um, yeah, I don't really have any other closing thoughts. Um, let me know if you guys have questions on setup. I can help you. Get your uh, INAV drone all set to go for waypoint missions, and I've learned a lot along the way. It's taken months to set up and get kind of tuned in. So, yeah. Till next time, I'll do some more videos later, and stay tuned. See ya.